Hey everyone, Mark Marshall with theparadiofiles.com and guitaristmarkmarshall.com. I thought I would talk about some production techniques that I like to use as I'm going through and composing different songs. Um, the song that I'm working on today for the TV show American Pickers is a bit of a dusty, swampy kind of vibe. I'm going to play a little bit of it and then I'm going to talk about a few things that I had decided to do in the production of this. See what makes this tick. Uh, first, I started off with these um, Joey Warnker drum loops from the Loop Loft, which I think are really awesome. Uh, let's listen to the groove. It's the really great sounding loops. Okay, uh, now I have I have some shakers and stuff going. It's nothing um, too fancy. I'm sure you could hear, but let's start getting into some of the acoustic guitar and stuff. drop D kind of vibey part happening there. Here's the bass part. I wanted to make it even a little bit deeper and a little bit more ghostly. So I decided to put a piano, a bass piano part sitting below that, kind of doing a very similar line. Um, I didn't go through and make sure it was absolutely 100% accurate because I'm really into a lot of um, 60s, early 70s recordings, and there's a lot of uh, double tracking in a lot of those recordings that aren't exactly perfect, so if they don't always play the the, uh, the unison rhythms and stuff, I, I find that to be okay um, in, in the recording. So uh, I did that not out of laziness, but in, in intention. Okay, I wanted to get a little bit of an organ vibe happening below this. One thing I think is worth mentioning, if you aren't an organ player or you haven't spent a lot of time around an organ player, is that playing with volume a little bit is a really important thing so when people start laying in midi organ uh, right now i'm using the uh, the native instruments uh, vintage organ b3 collection and um you know, if you just start playing everything just really seems very brick walled and very flat uh and when you're around real organ players they have a volume pedal on the floor and they'll swell things in and out and if you look at the automation on here, I'm not doing anything super crazy, but just enough so it creates a little dynamic so your mind just doesn't hear that static sound that's just one volume the whole time. Now I laid in a really dusty uh, telly track with tremolo and reverb to really kind of give it that, that swampy southern kind of vibe. It's a real guitar amp. I was using basically a Princeton reverb, but it was an amp Headstrong Little King reverb. It's a, an exact replica of, a, of like a 65 Blackface Princeton. Um, and otherwise, I was using a, a Klon KTR and um, the Full Tone Super Trem tremolo pedal. Straight into the amp, mic'd with a ribbon mic. Um, and the last track I have is an electric rhythm track, which was done with the same guitar, a Fender Telecaster. Uh, just straight into the, the Lil' King reverb. I'm going to drop in the acoustic now.
let's lay in some of the percussion that I had, tambourine and some shakers here. Um, regarding the shakers, I copied the same loop, which I think also came out of the Joey Werner collection. Uh, and what it is, I duplicated the track, but I lowered the pitch of one of the shakers because I just wanted it to sound a little moodier and more broad. So I have the original win, which is like this. But in Ableton, I just copied to a new track and I just dropped the whole pitch a little bit. You put them both together, it's really nice. And there you have it. Now, I may do a completely different approach on a different song, uh, but for these swampy, moody kind of things, I definitely like doubling the bass line with piano, and I like kind of fatter, rounder-sounding shakers. Uh, these are a little bit of my, my go-to, and of course, I often use like drop D acoustic guitars and electric guitars. Both the guitars were, were drop D, where I take the low E string and I drop it down from an E to a D, so it gets a little bit of that more deeper, throatier kind of sound. Um, and typically when I play bass on these things, you'll notice that the bass sound isn't super huge and super fat. I was kind of going for like an early 70s thing here, so uh, you don't need as much low end as you may think you need. Uh, let's see if I can pull up the plug-in for that really quickly here. So for that bass sound, I was using a, um, a Fender P bass with a little bit of foam under the bridge. And I was using the Ampeg SVT plugin. We could take a look at the settings that I had here. It was nothing too radical.